Hello and welcome to day 92 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, today we're going to talk about something that's a little bit different. There's not really a meditation in here. I want to talk about how, how as we work and we start to awaken ourselves spiritually, and a lot of you would be working on that, um, you know, mindfulness now, we're 92 days in, 91 days in, and, you know, you will have an understanding about meditation, about to structure things, how to, about to change your relationships with your emotions, change your relationships with stress, anxiety, and all of those things. But how, now you're starting to become this more rounded and grounded person in, in mindfulness. And look, we can easily do a mindfulness meditation, just close your eyes and then, but I want to talk today about how, in, how it is and how you can importantly make a difference to the world. It's a big question that everybody asks, and at the moment is, what does the world need right now? How can I help play my part to help myself, you know, through what's been a challenging time? You know, there's, there's, uh, the earth energies has changed through COVID and now through, you know, the change of George, George Floyd and the murder of George Floyd and the energies that have changed with that. And for me, a lot of things, I think about concerning, um, there's a shift in spirit and it feels a little bit surreal for me at the moment um, as I believe that the world is in the middle of a, of a global wake up and that waking up call as the awareness grows and people realise that actually, you know, we are one big incredible family connected to each other through the one conscious mind and that just sees the human race, it just sees energy, it sees a soul, it sees love, which is amazing. And I think in many ways we're at this critical spiritual junction. And although the human race for long periods, and we're coming out of it now, has been put on a virtual pause, the earth in between that has been healing and resting. And the next question is, well, where do we go from here? And when the world starts and comes back to life and lockdown eases the flood for people who are going to need support for people who have spent a lot of time on themselves who have flipped out who have spun out those people who have fallen over and and they're a bit upside down we need to be there to help turn the people back around or pick them up or whatever we need to do and at this point, you know, remind how our small actions of love and support can pull together into a much more holistic and whole picture that makes a tremendous contribution to the world. And never ever consider yourself powerless or insignificant. I'll say that again. Never ever ever consider yourself powerless or insignificant. We, as a group, as a people, as empaths, as people who care, as people who, who hold love and emotion and empathy and compassion to their hearts, we are now the catalyst for personal growth. We are now the catalyst for us to grow personally, but also to unfold, open up, and to help others. I was told a number of years ago that 2021 was going to be the year it was outlined to me to be a paradigm shift in spirituality, a spiritual uprising. And as empaths and people who care, when this happens and when, you know, people through COVID, etc., um, and all of these people who have had this mass awakening uh, are starting to, to come back out of their houses, etc., as empaths and as people who care, as I said, it's easy for us to run into the oncoming spiritual traffic. And that's very noble. But if we constantly want to overcome these issues and offer like love and support, we must ensure, okay, that we're all practicing mindfulness, living in the moment, breath to breath, responding and adapting to the new way of life, the new spiritual challenges. But, and this is the big but, is that we're all practicing self-care. We're all looking after ourselves. We want to offer help to the community and, and to the people immediately around us and the wider family, as I've discussed. And of course, our gathering of people online. 
but please ensure you structure your self-care with meditation, energy cleansing, protection, and lots of grounding. We need you to be in tip-top condition. So please, please, please set aside time in your day to ensure that you're at full spiritual tilt. I've been preaching now for many years and stood on my soapbox the need to strengthen our inner connection which will inevitably connect, strengthen our connection with spirit and obviously the wider world. And now I think now is the time, there's no better time for us when we've been physically distancing or social distancing. We've been apart, but in fact, we're coming much closer together. And we've been doing that online through our mind, body and soul. So let's ensure that 2021 is the year that's been predicted to me, that it'll be the year of spiritual uprising. And by us all coming together mindfully and thinking mindfully about how I'm going to play my part and how you're going to play your part, we can all work towards a spiritual miracle. In essence, when I asked the question at the beginning, what does the world need now? Well, i tell you what it needs. It needs you. And it needs you being that spiritual person after 92 days of mindfulness and learning and understanding. So there's no need for a meditation on day 92. What there is a need for is for us just to pause and bring to mind the thought about how you can play a role and watch your part in the new normal, in the new world, in the new way of doing things. And just remember, you have to look after yourself, being the moment, be present, have self-care, so that when other people need us, we're in the right frame of mind to go and help them. As always, be love and give love. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, Julian, I love you. Good afternoon, good night, good morning, Julian, I love you. Day 92 is about reflection. God bless you. See you tomorrow on day 93. Be in the moment and ask your question. How are you going to help? Because as I said, the world truly needs you now. <laughs>